Okay, uh, I think we are ready. Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so uh, I thought today, like you know, I'm a I'm an artist, yes, and all that, but I'm also a huge, huge Batman, you know, fan, a nerd, you know, I'm obsessed with him, and he's one of the, you know, reasons why I started drawing in the first place. If I, if you look at my sketchbooks when I was a kid, or even now, it's mostly, you know, done. Uh, you know, it's all mostly Batman sketches. Uh, even now, I'm <laughs> working on a, you know, Ben Affleck Batman painting, uh, which, you know, I'll post soon enough. Uh, so, uh, since uh, we are all excited for, you know, for the new Matt Reeves Batman, you know, the Batman starring Robert Pattinson, and I couldn't, you know, we had three trailers up till now, and just by looking at each trailer, you know, apart from the fact that it's a Batman film, I would, it, purely looks like a you know complete art film like when i say that it's the way they used colors the way they use you know their value compositions everything is so you know so awesome it's you know it's not just the kid in me who loves batman who's screaming at the screen it's also you know the artist in me screaming wow look at you know going look at how beautiful that is so uh, i, I kind of wanted to do this i uh, the channel of course it's you know all regarding art and education but uh, you know it's not you know it's not just about of course the technical side we know this you know it's of course not it's uh, I mean, it's all ending up to you know to do what we love and you know i love batman and you know uh, there's a little bit of art in everything in everything we see in everything we love so i thought like you know maybe i'll take a look at the trailer with you guys and you know try to give some you know what I felt about it uh, both everything you know about Batman you know his lore his story and everything and also some you know some beautiful art concepts like you know value you know or look at how they use that complementary color schemes uh, just you know from my perspective to break this you know trailer down in my perspective and I thought you my guys might you know enjoy that and you know you might have something you know beautiful to say about the art or you know about Batman himself so uh, let's get to it so you know let's watch the new batman the bat and the cat trailer you know and i'll stop as we go if i find something interesting uh okay well then let's have some fun you're sorry sorry i wouldn't be bothering you here but your people keep telling me you're unavailable city. Family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, uh, it's. I'm actually. This is not the first time I'm looking at this trailer. This is probably. I don't know when. I don't keep count, but still it just absolutely wrecks my mind you know just looking at you know everything you know just um just look especially the shot i mean from the previous trailer everybody loved this one where you know bat you know uh, penguins down and you know batman walks out you know in the rain you know behind the fire and you know that's just beautiful the colors here you know they used to re this looks basically like a you know like a Caravaggio painting, you know, those pre-Renaissance paintings, if you look at Caravaggio, he mainly, you know, they didn't use blue much uh, because it was expensive, it was a very expensive color at the time, so they usually stuck with, you know, warm colors, warm by that I mean, you know, red and yellow. And uh, as you can see, uh, throughout the center of Batman trailers, from all the three trailers we, ha we have seen so far, I can see that, you know, red and yellow or you know two of the main colors that you know they've used and especially for batman everything that involves in him he's always either lit in red or in yellow even the batmobile you can see like you know there's a lot of red here and you know the entire scene is yellow like this is how you know the old uh, before pre-renaissance paintings used to look and uh, you know they used to call them the brown school painters because you know they uh, the shadow side was always completely brown and all the colors that they had was always on the light side uh, So as you can see here, we can see a lot of brown yellows and reds Which is beautiful and uh, I had you know on the Batmobile. Yeah, when I first looked at it Yeah, this is the frame like 
I was absolutely mind wrecked. Like so far, my favorite bat movie. It's hard to pick your favorite bat movie, but if I had to, you know, if I had a gun on my head and I had to choose one, it would probably be the Tumblr. Uh, the Tumblr. When I first looked at it, looks so awesome. It's you know, it's also very practical. Nolan's version was you know always about practicality and you know keeping things grounded. And uh, that Batmobile, the design was more like a. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge Affleck fan, and I like my. I usually like you know Batman when he looks like a you know beefed up muscle you know like a, you know literally you don't want to be near that guy. He's so huge, and I felt like you know the Tumblr kind of you know reminds me of that. Just looking at that uh, vehicle, that you know you don't want to go near it like. It could literally, you know, uh, trample you over. Like, you know, if you're not ten guys around, it will just trample them all over. Uh, you know, and um, I like that. You know, and the way you know how the bat pod is, you know, nestled inside it. That's you know, that's a really cool design. Like it much, and it also makes much more sense. I mean, that's what probably Batman would do. Like uh, we see in the Dark Knight when you know the tumbler eventually explodes. Batman just you know does this and you know ejects himself as the bat pod you know the bat cycle and that's extremely cool design I thought that whole you know Tumblr was extremely well designed and looking at this new Batmobile for the Batman it's absolutely you know awesome I know this is a year one story uh, so Batman is just sitting out and you know he doesn't have the tech yet he doesn't have Lucius Fox to help him out and. Uh, He's just, you know, trying to, you know, everything, the whole suit, everything looks like, you know, it has a handmade quality to it. Like, you know, you can see the stitching on the lines of his suit. You know, it's cl pretty clear that, you know, there's not some AAA manufacturing going on there. It's just, you know, a guy, a guy in his 30s and his, you know, and his helper, you know, Alfred, you know, just sitting locked up in a cave and just trying to make these things by themselves. And the car, the Batmobile, it's absolutely looks awesome. We are yet to see like what it can do. I mean, so far, we can see it's a huge muscle car with huge tires, and you know, uh, it is. It's a you know, it's a, uh, it's you can see it looks like a bit of a work in progress. The main thing that I you know, uh, you know, I thought okay, I, I I was really interested about a few design decisions they made about this car, especially you know, so we can see this beautiful engine outside I mean it looks damn awesome it looks absolutely awesome uh, but uh, you know I would I was thinking like what would Nolan made of this like so when we have, when we have an you know engine outside of the car so uh, like so it's right out on, right, right out in the open and when things like that happen so if a few bad guys are you know are behind the wheel or behind the Batmobile what if they take a shot, you know, at the uh, at the engine? Uh, how I mean, how does that work? So, like, is this engine shielded in some way, or you know, what is there any particular reason why the engine is not yet, you know, closed? Or why is it not protected? Uh, so that was the only thing that was going through my mind. And uh, the other thing was so like, uh, I was thinking like, you know, the Batmobile. Why why wasn't it electric? Uh, so I thought we never. I don't think we ever had an electric Batmobile. Uh, an electric Batmobile, I think, would make a lot of sense because uh, since in a you know electric car you don't have an engine, uh, you just have motors, so which gives you more space. You it gives more space for the car. So you can Batman can probably you know have more passenger space or you know add more weaponry space. Like not you know Batman doesn't kill apart from Affleck. Maybe you know some right control, the, you know rubber bullets. We've seen that rubber bullets uh, in the you know tank in the Dark Knight, in the animated version. So you know you can probably add a right control gun. Or you know I can think of quite a lot of things. And I think and electric electric cars also make an electric Batmobile makes much more sense because uh, we know that today the fastest, the most fastest accelerating car is you know the tesla model s plan i think so it can do 0 to 16 around like you know 1.8 seconds or something like that uh, i mean uh, an electric car makes much more sense because either way batman's going to be driving around the city so top speed doesn't really matter because you know you're not batman's not going to be driving on a highway he's mostly going to be chasing bad guys you know around the city which doesn't allow for high speeds you can't you know there's always going to be traffic there's going to be pedestrians but high acceleration makes much more sense if you're inside a batmobile it's better to have you know better acceleration than top speed 
uh because you're going to be around the city anyway and if you're going to get away from the cops you need better acceleration because you're going to stop in corners and you're going to like you know speed up uh on your streets so these are some of the things that i had in mind uh i thought like you know uh, an electric batmobile is something i'm trying to you know come up with a design by myself to in the future but other than all that these are just stop you know i'm just thinking out loud i'm just so excited just looking at this car my you know and exploring with you know ideas like what it can be so yeah let's continue this history of philanthropy but as far as i can tell you're not doing anything I mean, yeah. Apart from all this, Selena Kyle is, you know, someone we are all looking forward to, and uh, I think the, you know, the only film that I seen Zoe Kravitz before was, you know, on Mad Max. Uh, you know, she had quite a small role in the film, but you know, it's quite it was quite memorable. It literally, you can remember every face from that movie, cause each of them were beautifully, you know, well sketched out, and everyone in the film look. absolutely marvelous in the you know mad max is one of my most favorite movies and in this she really gets her due for you know zoe kravitz is absolutely beautiful as catwoman and you know she's the perfect fit for fit you know fit for robert pattinson's batman and that line she says like you know i have a thing for strays uh you know that's absolutely <laughs> awesome of course that's super awesome and it's also a little poetic in a way i mean i didn't even catch up on it i think i was looking at bobo talks and the bobo talks channel um he also talks about this line in particular when he says that you know uh, when she says that you know she has a thing for strays batman is technically a stray like you know bruce wayne is an orphan uh, i mean he's filthy rich of course but either way he's an orphan he you know he did, he has alfred show but he's one of the most lonely strays out there you know he has no fam technically no family to speak of and you know uh he's a stray basically stray you know that's climbing on the rooftops of Gotham every single night like a cat like you know he has no where to go and you know he's a little lost in his own sense um and you know catwoman catwoman is much more of a stable person than batman she has something you know a meaningful goal she likes to steal she likes to stay you know take care of cats and you know she she's not i you know it's hard to, she's not in the same mind space as you know bruce wayne is you know she's a little more stable she's a little more like us like she, you know she wants something we all want in common you know money or you know uh diamonds or you know theft and you know she just wants to survive you know things like that and her basic need in most every iteration of her she's always looking to survive and uh, and you know uh, uh that's such an interesting you know it would be really interesting to see how you know zoe kravitz you know shows her version of catwoman you know how she's going to you know interact with this batman is she like um, a little evil or is she a little good or you know we have to see how all that plays out because we can still see that you know clearly batman still has trust issues on you know catwoman here even when uh, Alfred says a new friend he says he's not quite sure so it would be nice to see what exactly is her agenda here what is she looking for and you know we see uh, a lot of people have agendas here and you know we are yet to know what exactly is her agenda so uh, yeah let's only look forward to Ah uh, yeah, so I'm just stopping quite a bit here. So I was I found another. This trailer actually showed us something, another interesting thing. So uh, in the previous trailers, we see you know Gotham City in daytime, um, which looked to me like a you know 
I really, uh, when I first looked at these trailers, it was hard for me to place a timeline. Like, so, you know, when exactly is this Batman happening? Like, uh, because everything we saw in the previous trailers, especially looking at the Gothic architecture and everything, and apart from the muscle car, it felt like, you know, this look doesn't, it felt a little like it was not happening in the present time. Like, you know, uh, uh, and I really like that aesthetic. It reminded me of the, you know, Gotham by Gaslight, you know, uh, show um, where, you know, uh, Batman tries to capture Jack the Ripper and the soul cowl having this, you know, that neck portion of it, it reminded me of that. And uh, so I was thinking that, you know, maybe this Batman is happening a little earlier, you know, you know, really old timeline, but that's clearly blown out now. Like we see that, you know, uh, the phone that's been taped to sand is an Apple iPhone and I think it's an Apple iPhone and it's pretty clear looking at this particular frame right now you know the city is modern and I think in this particular frame I think this is the first time we are seeing this uh, Gotham at night um, and uh, we are actually seeing the city at night and we can see it's all fall neon like you know at daytime the city looks like a pure English you know gothic city and at night it looks like a you know, you can see a little bit of the nightlife that's happening here. You know, there's full neon. The city is quite alive at night. And, uh, you know, uh, it's re I'm really just looking at this. It really, I'm looking forward to see the city. It's like, you know, uh, because in the previous iterations, especially in Nolan's, the city, I mean, it's uh, it's it's pretty static in a way. We, you know, it's it's pretty clear that it's been shot in real world locations. Like, you know, it's Chicago, I think. And... Uh, it it doesn't do a lot to uh, to show that you know how does it make it look like Gotham in specific I mean why that why is it Gotham instead of not New York City or something like that but this one this movie right from the beginning uh, we see you know Bruce Wayne and you know daytime I think oh yeah in this particular frame we can see that you know we can see i never i can hardly i mean i'm from india but i can say that you know in any movies that i've seen so far this backgrounds look a little more specific not unique specific uh, you know specific where uh, in terms of you know gotham city i can you know it remember you know it can it it tells me that i'm looking at something new a new city this city is not something that i've seen in a previous movie or you know some city that i already know this is you know gotham city this is matt reeves you know gotham city uh, I don't know why, even a why, but I can, you know, it give, clearly gives me the feeling like, you know, this is a very different city and this is Gotham City. Uh, so, yeah. You're part of this too. No, I'm not part of this. Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop it. This shot, oh my god, the first time I saw it, it's like, oh, pure Dark Knight bliss, right? So we see this exact same shot, you know, in the Dark Knight Returns, you know, the animated version in Frank Miller's book. You know, we have the same shot, the same exact shot in the Dark Knight Rises. You know, when Batman goes to see Bane with Selena, we have this exact same shot. That one is a little more keyed with blue and this is more keyed with yellow, but it's never gets old. This is an absolute beautiful shot and we can see how cocky this Batman is. I mean, uh, these villains are probably, these goons are probably just, you know, too scared out of their minds to aim for his face. They're just aiming at his body. I mean, their brains are not working and they're looking at this demon-like, you know, figure approaching them. Their brains are not working. They're not... The instinct is, you know, just to shoot at it, not to shoot at its face. The instinct is just to shoot at it or run away from it. And, you know, we can see that, you know, this this Batman is purely enjoying the fear, you know, he's, you know, creating on these people. And uh, this is all, this is, this is so sick. Yeah. All these years, lights me up. People have those skulls, Bruce. He's still one. That suit, I mean, yeah, that's excellent. Like, uh, I was, you know, uh, when I first saw the initial screenshots of, you know, the, the new Batman movie, I used to think, like, you know, the suit design, I was first, like, you know, uh, okay, so how does this work? How, you know, how does this bat suit work? How functional is it? 
since it's homemade i'm not expecting a lot of function out of it but i can see that you know bruce wayne has clearly put into a lot of thought into this i mean when i f- you know the you know we can see that you know on his hand he has the stripes when i first read there was this five white color stripes and i was thinking like you know what does that i mean i never seen this before on a bat suit like you know so what do these things do and i think we got an answer for that on this trailer so oh, like, you know, so it's you know it's absolutely beautiful and it's extremely sensible like you know uh, you know batman in the da- batman begins he used his grapple gun after he gets hit by scarecrow this is much more functional and you know much more smart this design is much more smart like when you're batman and you're on a fix and you need to get away soon your grappling gun is right fixed into you know your thumb and you know into your palm of your hand so all he has to do is generate a gesture like spider-man and it just pops out and it's probably the white you know strips are just ammo for his grappling gun and i thought that was so awesome that's you know that's something i never thought about i never seen it in you know other iterations and i think it's so damn cool yeah oh, you that shot like you know um, okay oh here yeah, yeah this is i don't know why this looks so awesome robert i'm in love seriously robert pattinson is so awesome i you know uh i haven't seen the twilight movies i've seen the first one i think and uh, after that i've seen some of rob pattinson's work it's you know the lighthouse and just after watching the lighthouse i know that you know he's one hell of an actor and you know um, just this, this particular shot like you know it's clear that you know he's he hates being human he hates being bruce wayne he, you know he's he's looking out for every opportunity to just wear the goddamn suit and it's as if like you know the suit has become him like you know it's almost as if it's melted onto his skin like you know he can no longer take it off and uh, you can see that you know it's not really clear that if he's following Selena Kyle here or you know they both turn to something over here uh, but it's pretty clear we seen this also in the start of the trailer that he's always at night even wearing his backpack and just you know roaming around the city and uh, and I love you know the director starts to keep the eye makeup cuz I can see that most previous iterations usually don't show the black eye makeup like when they remove the cowl you can see they are clear eyes which is not true Batman vast makeup and you know that's I'm glad they care you know they kept it because it's much more cool it's much more you know awesome and uh, we can see that you know yeah he uh, you know he carries his suit in the backpack and you know yeah this is so awesome <laughs> yeah when i when i saw this i was just thinking about okay a little art talk here Uh, I'm going to going to geek out on the art now. So we can see you know how beautiful the value composition is here. You know it's very subtle there's lots of at- atmosphere in the background. We have a f- nice foreground background you know relationship going on here which is cool. You can see you know the dark characters Batman and the goons are dark and the background is much more white. You know much more atmospheric and you know this is it's basically art basic. These are all basic things in art but it's it's still the basics are when they are done beautifully they are absolutely beautiful and you know it's always about the basics right all this always about the foundations and the basics and when it's done so beautifully well like this i mean it's this is how this is what you get you get a beautiful film that's right Okay, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, what have we missed? I think I didn't talk about Riddler. Uh, yeah, I didn't talk about Paul Dano's, you know, Riddler. 
Paul Dano, I mean, I've seen uh, my most favorite film of him is Prisoners. Prisoners, oh my God. It's just absolutely menacing to think what kind of Riddler he's going to be. Because in Prisoners, he just wrecked my mind. He's, you know, he's one hell of an actor. And, you know, this movie just has too much of an amazing cast. Like, it's just too good to be true. Uh, I do feel that sometimes. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm like, absolutely excited to see, like, you know, what he's going to do with the Riddler. We can see that, you know, it's a little different. Enigma, uh, you know, we can see that, you know, he has a history with the wings. I've seen so many videos about this and it's pretty clear that, you know, he has some history. Um, and, you know, and we're clear, just like the Court of Fowls, we've seen um, the comic line, the comic storyline. We can see that the Bruce Wayne's, the Wayne's weren't always, you know, clean. Uh, at least not Thomas Wayne. Even Martha Wayne didn't know much about the business but uh, Thomas Wayne clearly didn't have a clean hand uh, and it's also heavily implied in the Joker movie like he's not like a total goody goody kind of guy and uh, I can see that this is what the story is going to be about at least a part of it's going to be about and we see Riddler has his own agenda that you know he's gonna you know uh, wreck some truth about the Wayne's and it's all going this i feel that this movie is going to be all about revelations revelations uh you know about truth about what's true and what's not many you know uh that's why it's going to be more of a personal story for bruce wayne that that much is pretty clear and uh so yeah paul you know and I, and I love the suit i mean the suit looks like you know it looks absolutely creepy it absolute you know you know the per the moment you anyone who's wearing that suit is gonna look instantly creepy like you don't want to go near that guy and uh, it looks a little steampunkish the design I love the design it look I you know I never thought of Riddler that way I mean when you think of Riddler you think of you know Jim Carrey's version you think about the cartoon versions where you know he's mostly dressed in bright green and you know uh, with the question marks and everything I love the subtle design to this you know with, the, with the, just the eye goggles and you know you don't see the mask it just it looks like sort of like a track suit like a loosely made track suit and uh, it's so beautiful and you know uh, it looks like how a real world riddler you know would look like and i th the, just you know this entire movie i think it's going to be uh, this entire movie's design is going to be you know taught in schools probably i mean it's so so beautiful even for a comic book movie i know comic book movies uh, i mean they don't i uh, I'm sure there are very good, beautifully designed comic book movies, but this I see. I'm seeing this one something like this after a really long time. Uh, so, uh, what else did I miss? Um, I think I missed out something. I feel like um, oh yeah, the penguin. Uh, how can I, you know? For, you you know penguin. Uh, he, he looks so different, you know, in this movie and uh i'm really excited and it's also been said that he's gonna be only playing a small role in the movie i'm not sure what that's because in the trailers it looks like it's he's going to be a big part of the film and uh i'm really looking forward to see how he turns out how commissioner gordon turns out commissioner gordon looks you know he looks very different we are having a black commissioner gordon for the first time it looks absolutely amazing and uh it would be see what's the relationship between him and Batman is in this one because he's also still not commissioner he's um, you know still not up there up to the ranks yet uh, and the relationship between him and Batman the trust between him and Batman is still build is build, building upon so it would be cool to see that okay okay then I think that's pretty much from my end I mean I can keep talking about Batman all day but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you feel that I missed out something or if you'd like to add something or you know how excited are you for the Batman and if you anything if you want to talk about that just drop down in the comments and uh, we'll talk more about that and if you like this video just uh, like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel and I hope to do more of this. Uh,